First thing to do is to orientate the heart so you know which is the left and the right hand side. Best way of doing that is to make sure the coronary artery here is running from top right to bottom left. This is the left ventricle, uh, ventricular wall of the heart and this is the right ventricular wall. You can feel it's much more firm and um, the muscular wall is much thicker than the, the, on the left side than on the right side. You then can uh, get your, to know your way around the heart just by picking it up, having a look, sticking your finger or, or fingers or the, or the seeker into the vessels and seeing where they end up. You can see if I look at the top of the heart here, we have this marbled tissue there. That's, the, uh, that's atrial tissue and we can see that's sat on top of the left uh, ventricle, so that's the left atrium. Uh, over here you can see we've got the, the remains of the right atrium where the butcher has cut uh, the, the top of the right atrium off, but inside that space there, that's, that's the entrance into the right atrium. So we know that's the, that's the vena cava. And actually, if you push your finger down into the um, right atrium, you, uh, uh, you'll, you'll find it, it ends up in the right ventricle, uh, which is kind of where you'd expect that to happen. Uh, if we have a look at the, the, the entrance to, the, um, to the, the left atrium, then we can see there is... Uh, that entrance, so I can put my finger into there. My finger's right there, into the in the in the left atrium, and we know that that is the uh, the, the pulmonary uh, vein carrying oxygenated blood from the from the lungs. And we can also see, or I hope you can see, that that here is a, a relatively thin-walled vessel. If I put my finger down into there, it ends up in the right-hand side of the heart. Can you see there? So that must be the pulmonary artery carrying deoxygenated blood from the right hand side of the heart up to the um, uh, up to the lungs the really obvious vessel that we can see here is this very very thick walled artery and that's the aorta and if I put my finger down uh, there I should end up in, in, in the left hand side of the heart in the left ventricle so I can do that maybe with my uh, little finger and I can feel there I can feel my finger there which is in the left hand side of the heart so that's the first thing to do kind of get your Get to, to know your way around the heart and the vessels and the, and the chambers of the heart without actually having to do any dissection. When you start doing the dissection, the first dissection um, cut to make is a, a nice cut into the wall of the left um, ventricle, basically in parallel with the coronary artery, which is there, and a, a, a cut with your scalpel so you get into the left ventricle of the heart. So if I just do that, um, then I can make a nice clean cut like so, and that should get me into the left ventricle. Now, if you look to start off with, the wall is so thick, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not even, I'm not even there yet, so I need to go a little bit deeper so I can actually get into that ventricle, that ventricular wall. So in I go, and hopefully that should be, yeah, I'm about there now. So I can just extend that cut upwards uh, a fraction towards the left uh, atrium. And now I can see really clearly inside the, um, the left ventricle, I can see the thickness of the ventricular walls, and I can start to see some of the valve tendons here, um, which are the valve te tendons um, stopping the bicuspid valve from inverting on itself as, as the um, left ventricle uh, contracts. So I can now actually put my finger up through the bicuspid valve and come out of the, um, of the, the left ventricle, in the opposite direction to, work to, to, to where blood would normally flow. But then I can also get my finger, if I go behind that um, uh, uh, bicuspid valve, I can get my finger to come out past the semilunar valve and out of the aorta there. So I can track the flow of blood coming into the heart through the pulmonary vein, through the bicuspid valve, into the left ventricle, and then out of the heart through the aorta. Okay. The next thing to do is to do basically the same thing for the right-hand side of the heart. Now, this heart, um, the, the butcher's already made a cut into the, into the um, right ventricle. You can see how thin the muscular wall of the right ventricle is compared to the left. And what I can see here is that the vena cava carries blood through the, um, or into the right atrium through the tricuspid valve. You can see very clearly the, uh, the, the, the valve cusps there and the valve tendons into the right ventricle. And then out through um, this vessel here, which is kind of near the front of the heart, and that vessel there is the pulmonary artery. 
So I've tracked the passage of blood through the left and the right hand side of the heart. Okay. The next stage of the dissection is to keep this cut going all the way through the, um, uh, the left ventricle and open up the bicuspid valve. Now, the best thing to do is to do that with a pair of scissors. So I can just keep that cut going all the way through the atrium. Now, what I've done there, keep going a little bit. Every so often you get some blood clots. That's perfectly normal. You can get rid of those. Um, and what I've done there, I've opened up the, um, the uh, bicuspid valve. And you can see here the valve tendons. These valve tendons are incredibly strong. Uh, and you can lift up the, the whole weight of the heart with just one of those valve tendons really quite easily. I'm kind of trying to do that there. Um, and you can see that the valve cusps here, this very thin, delicate tissue. It's not very delicate at all. But that's the, uh, that whole structure there is the opened up bicuspid valve. The next thing to do is to make a cut so we can open up the um, semilunar valves. So find out where the aorta exits there. And again, with your pair of scissors, do exactly the same as what I did with the bicuspid valve, but through the um, aorta. So now, hopefully, what we can see there is the semilunar valve opened up. Now, the semilunar valve has three valve cusps. One, two, three little half moons. And this is the aorta opened up, and just above the semilunar valves, and you can see little holes. There's one there, and there's one here. And those are the exits of the coronary arteries. So those are quite interesting to, to put your seeker down and see how far you can get. Okay, if you do, then do exactly the same on the right-hand side of the heart, so I can open up the um, tricuspid valve by snipping through that tissue there. And there is the tricuspid valve opened up. I can then snip through the um, wall of the pulmonary artery there, and I can open up the, the right semilunar valves. Uh, so you can see again those three half-moon valve cusps there. Okay, and if you've done a nice dissection, uh, you can kind of fold everything back up again so you have a, a nicely dissected heart with all the cuts in all the right places showing all the valves and the vessels and um, the chambers.